I remember I seen 50 Cent in the gym. He was in full regular urban wear. Right. Jeans. He was under squat rack with jeans, though. Everybody was laughing. China, Asia, Beijing, Japan, Bangkok. I love you. <laughs> you don't go off that blood type stuff. You can change your DNA. <laughs> change my DNA by eating what I want to eat. What's up with it, guys? In the all red and T, in the GLE. Got the baby seats. So, yeah, uh, on our way to the gym. This is my first day working out in four days because I did the uh, three day water fast. I uh, got a lot going on today. Actually, my in laws coming in from uh, Croatia. They're going to stay with us for a few months. So, that's going to uh, give me a lot of time to get some good content out. Uh, mother in law out here, she helped with the kids. So, that does a lot for me. You know what I mean? to open up my creativity. Cause for those that know, like I've been with my twins every day. Like I only miss, I've not been with them two days. And that was when the video I uh, went and drove the cars at Dodge in Arizona. And the other time was when me and my wife went some, uh, went out for her birthday. And that's it, man. Two times other than that, I'm there every step of the way, changing diapers, feeding uh, with the chaos. Uh, so I'm grateful for the career I have to be able to do that. So yeah, man, we're going to the gym, go do some chest, shoulders, tries, have some fun, man. I miss being at the gym, miss getting to work out. But during that three day fast, it's advised that you don't work out. Because especially with me, I don't have uh, hardly no fat to burn. So I would have been tapping into muscle. But my favorite thing, to be honest, uh, the water fast was cool. It's scary because people like the third day, you not go even think about or need food. And it was true. My energy was so high. First day was the toughest. Second day was a uh, brain because the hunger pains are, were extreme on the second day. Uh, luckily for me, I would drink tea. So I was drinking uh, lemon or lime and water. It was an experience and I'm gonna do it all the time now. Each time I plan on going longer and longer. It just feels good not to n not need food, you know what I mean? not needing food like if something happened armageddon or whatever you can't get the food and you know you've been there before you can do it which i've starved in when i was in prison before so i knew and and i used to uh starve myself when i did tv stuff in hollywood when i was on set i, w I wanted to look a certain way on tv so i wouldn't eat same with photo shoots and stuff i wouldn't eat that's what a lot of people don't know about bodybuilding is that there is a starvation period, which is a lot of food to the normal human, but in bodybuilding, oh, I'm just eating, I'm eating no carbs. I remember I did a no carb diet. I thought I was dying. And now I look back like, man, you were still able to eat meat and, <laughs> like, bro, I just went three days with no food, nothing, just water and lemon and lime squeezed in the water. Testing my will and I already know that anything I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. I'm real disciplined, been too disciplined all my life actually. So now I'm to the point where I wanna have the discipline but I also wanna have fun, have the balance with it. But uh, now that my mother-in-law come, coming today, it's time to work, baby. Even though we working our butt off, we just going through a lot of uh, obstacles, hackers and social media, not not recommending our content on YouTube right now, Facebook either. So luckily, that's why we got outside businesses, man, and coming out with more as we speak. When you see something ain't working, you gotta pivot, man. Y'all ready? Here we go. electric my damn so i used to talk crazy about it but how they plan with this gas and, and it just makes sense man electric if you, if you get them solar panels you ain't gotta pay for nothing bro solar panel up 
your house and let the energy go to the car. You ain't in the Especially if you go off grid. If you're white in this Tesla, he love it too. We used to talk crap about Tesla. The infamous chocolate chip. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> no better cookies in the world. Hi, Fee Whitey. Ooh, come on. That's how y'all supposed to work out. Fit it, man. You'll feel good. How you feeling this morning, Bucko? I'm feeling pretty good. That's good, Bucko. Yeah. Here we go. About to go up in the gym. Get it. We excited. Like I say, I haven't worked out in four days since Sunday. All right. It'd be nice. Yeah. You get a workout finally. Well, I'm on it after this. Even if I got to get up early now, because, you know, they'll be here. Oh, yeah. To help out. Yeah, we still trying to get our Facebook back, man. Facebook, uh, they don't care about getting hacked. Oh, and they posting some kind of risque stuff, too. Yeah, I know. They're like, let's just get the page hit while we're at it. Well, sad, man. It's pathetic, bro. We do about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how we feel. Got to keep that blood pumping. Man, I didn't know how crucial cardio was. I mean, I did cardio all my teenage years playing sports. But when I became a adult and got into being super swole, I felt it would take, uh, I would lose too much weight and lose too much muscle mass. So the only time I did cardio is when I got ready for shows, and that's the wrong perspective. <clears throat> so they did a study that they've been testing kids, checking their arteries. Yeah. 10 years old, kids been getting cloggage. Damn. At 10. Well, in Europe, they already starting to do uh, cat scans and stuff like that hmm. on the kids to tell if they got cholesterol problems and all that. Right, right. And I tell people, with me, it took 20 years for that to clog up 100%. Takes a lot of years, man. So by you doing cardio, you push it, your blood. You keeping that blood pumping, pushing it any cholesterol buildup or anything in your arteries out. Hmm. But if you topping it off with bad food every day, three, yeah. four, five, six times a day, you could do all the cardio in the world. Yeah, That's like matter. runners. A lot of runners have heart attacks. Right. Be lean in shape, but uh, still either an enlarged heart or still eating bad yeah. food. Yeah. It's like me. I thought I was in tip-top shape, but all the Cars, especially white rice, top robin, and on Roy. Mm. And my blood was thick. Type A blood is thick. Yeah, I never knew rice was really that bad. Me neither. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, I used to talk crazy like I'm eating healthy as ever, man. Yeah. Then they made up excuse white rice is the same as brown rice. It's just it don't have to cover it. And you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Oh, yeah, I heard that one, too. Yeah. yeah. Think about flour and re enriched flour, which is in everything that's processed. Well, yeah. It's a strip ground wheat, and then it it's a gluten, so it's like sticky anyway. That's basically what gluten is, and it's running through your body. Uh -huh. it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything but just literally put sticky stuff in your body. Right. It exactly. tastes good. Yeah. But that's what a lot of things are made out of, so triscuits or... Cheese its or you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I think that like that, that's the main thing or any type of pizza crust. Yeah. A lot of that stuff just it has flour as the base. And you know, and stuff. Any type of cookie, any type of baked good. Wow. Dough, anything that you put on a, a bread, a sandwich. Man. And that's the SAD. Yeah. Standard American diet. It just with me when you have a life and death situation you gotta pivot <laughs> and look at everything from every angle it's cold oh yeah i'm going for as many reps i can get baby mm -hmm. you already feeling it uh, uh -huh. mm. Mm. oh 
Oh, yeah. Mmm. Ay. Ay. Ah. Just want to be cut. So what I found with calves is that you got to do high reps. Some people could do low reps, but my blood type and my DNA and makeup, I had to learn after 20 years of doing calves that I had to do super high reps for them to grow. You know, you got people like Jay Cutler, he was able to do eight calf raises a set and have massive calves. That wasn't the case. And I used to try that going heavy and they just wouldn't grow. Oh yeah, here we go. Getting that stretch, that squeeze. Four days. Ugh. Yeah, instantly. I felt it instantly. Well, yeah. No water for me during the workout, guys. No water, no fluids, nothing. Look at you. You getting veiny, boy. You Yeah, right. You been dieting? <laughs> Your calves veiny? I mean, I haven't been eating any junk. Let's put it that way. I've been eating too much, like, sweet potato. Oh, is that right? Too much potato. I'm cutting back on it, bro. It's just... So I remember those days, those days after the fast, I was doing it, I felt too heavy. Yeah, I feel heavy. I was, so I was doing that with the avocado. Yeah, it's too bloody. And I'm like, you and know, then my poop, I didn't like the poop. Nah. And, uh. Nah, that stuff is too. Even too nuts. I'm like. Oh, yeah, nuts too, yeah. I did a ton of walnuts last night right. and about a handful of pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds? Boy. Yeah, they're good. I, I think I got a thing where it shows you everything it does. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin seed got magnesium, potassium, iron. You got everything in it. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah, yeah. That's all I need. Yeah, guys, we work out with shades on, man. It'd be bright in the gym. You know what I mean? You gotta feel good, look good everywhere. Well, why? Why people differentiate? Like in a gym, you're supposed to look raggedy or just in some Under Armour or some Nike. Like, bro, look good wherever you at. I remember used to be some bodybuilders back when I was a kid. Work out in full clothing. Swolled in a mug. Just got off work or whatever the case may be. Yeah. I remember I seen 50 Cent in the gym. I got that video on YouTube too, I believe. Uh, definitely you could Google the pictures. Kali Bustle 50 Cent. He was in full regular urban wear. Right. Jeans. He was on the squat rack with jeans, though. Everybody was laughing at his Yeah. Hey, look at 50 doing squats in tight jeans. Yeah. <laughs> 60K cash. You can win. All you gotta do is enter the raffles. A measly little ten dollars can change your life. Invest in Bitcoin. Invest in a new business. Last winner won fifty thousand cash. He could have won or a Hellcat Red Eye. He chose the fifty k. Changed his life. You can do the same thing. Then second place can win two thousand cash. Third place one thousand cash could change your life for you to invest that right. Right? You might go to uh, the crap table and hit uh, six, eight, ten of folk. Or, guess what? This car I'm sitting in, GT500. If you like fast cars, 760 horsepower, sound crazy, if you wanna take over your city, you can win this car. Right now, when you see this video, time is limited, bro. Enter it now, not a scam. So enter now, man. <clears throat> Probably just came from the studio, so. Ain't got time to change. All right. <clears throat> Yeah. Gotta have style, man. Everybody wanna look the same. So we usually do about uh, maybe six to ten sets of these. Gotta, I'm a calf fanatic. I gotta do calves practically every workout. My favorite chest exercises are these chest machines here. They call. <laughs> hammer strength? Hammer strength. Yeah. yeah, hammer strength chest. Always been my favorite. Y'all can go back to my old video when I was super big. I was putting weights on the handles. 
<laughs> now I'm just want to get the pump, <clears throat> stay shredded and healthy, man. <clears throat> Had my turn at the big show, you know what I mean? Had my youth where I was able to pump it to the max. Now I gotta uh, be the example for the 35 and older guys. <laughs> I am getting a little, so this morning I had lime, four key limes, squeeze them, put a little water in it with a little cayenne and a little honey. Uh, but that mouthpiece right now, <laughs> And that's a hell of a healing property, they say. You know, everything is allegedly and they said. It's a legend. Uh-huh. Till you try it. Till I see some facts, blood work done, some difference in health. You're a bad little scientist, you know that? Yep, this you, heavy. You need to be a doctor. <clears throat> Only thing I know for sure that work Caffeine and testosterone. Those for sure work. Yeah. Those for sure work. Let me test my nuts today. Usually don't even go this heavy no more, guys. Why not? No reason. Oh, no reason. Okay. Just showing out for the camera today. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try to show out. Went from doing about six to eight of these to two, and I'm having fun with it. Yep. You gonna buff nuts? Here we go, do an incline, my favorite one. I learned from Jay Cutler about 20 years ago to put your butt up so you don't have to sit all the way uh, erect up. Relax your back on there. Coming straight up, squeezing, pumping. Make it look effortless. Don't let them see you sweat. Get those pumps after. Bye. Yeah, buddy. This machine feels super good. Uh -huh. This is my good favorite. Machine. Yeah, Number exactly. one check. I agree. 100%. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I like this one. Stretch all the way you can go. Stretch, 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 stretch. Squeeze. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go, Wood. Armageddon almost here, Wood. <laughs> Gotta be ready. Can't eat for 21 days. Gotta do. 2,500 push-ups a day, so we can outdo Chef Russ. That's right. You got to drink only eight ounces of water for two days. Oh, I actually like that. I never did this machine. I am hungry. Side ladder is my favorite shoulder exercise. Getting my cuts back, boy. Hard 
locked out. Hands down. Oh yeah. Pump. So let me show y'all the difference. You come down, your muscle relax. So your muscle relax. But the way I do it, keep your tension on. Mm. Yeah. I'm moving around next set so they can see that uh, skin. Oh yeah. It's crazy because like how you work out, you're never pushing to uh, past the point of like exhaustion or something. Right. Yeah. It's like you you know where that point's at. And uh huh. You don't do yeah, it. I used to do that. And right. It was unnecessary. So did, did you do you need to do that to grow bigger? Nah. Okay. Hell no. Nah. So you're just destroying at that point. Uh huh. Just wanted to like clarify. To get bigger, it. all you gotta do is eat. <laughs> right. It don't even have nothing to do with the workout. That's true. Huh, that's crazy. I had dudes your size who could lift what I could lift. Mm -hmm. Um, but wouldn't get a lot bigger because they didn't eat much. Huh. Right. <sighs> it sucks being bloated all the time. Yeah, they don't know no better though. And you don't know no better, you don't know no better. <laughs> I look at my old videos and I be like, I had a ton of gastro problems. Oh, man. Stayed on the Oh, yeah. And I was doing caffeine on top of it, especially when I was drinking that coffee and soda. Oh, yeah, you probably... Everywhere I hit. Like, I think I was on that when we did the We Pumping. I probably hit that about three times before we start filming. <laughs> Go for it. This is the perfect weight. Ah, seventeen and a half, baby. You perfect weight. You used to call it. Uh, wow. To get 40 mm. shoulders, you shred it. It's still 40, right? Oh, yeah, because like yeah, ain't going nowhere. the definition, right? <clears throat> well, 4D2 is the size, mine more 2D shredded. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to hit all of this. I don't necessarily want to hit this muscle right now, I want to hit all of this. Same thing, I'm not going all the way back, keeping the tension. Right there. Ah, ah Funny, shoulders used to be one of my favorite exercises to do. Now it's my least favorite. I think my favorite now is triceps. Cause I need them so bad. Downsizing a lot, you gotta get, to me, if you get shredded, it'll combat the bigorexia. Being shredded to me is mo way more impressive than just being swollen. And that's why bodybuilding shows. That's why Mr. Olympia's win, because they not only big, but super shredded in condition. Everybody respect that shredded in condition. Anybody can eat 10,000 calories a day gets bloated. Yeah. Yeah, what unified the one I was in, you had a big BGF. Black Gorilla family and they ran California prison systems for years. Like if you wasn't part of them, they uh, extort you, do whatever. And so my founder that was a part of BGF, Black Panther before, decided to start his own thing. And he was like, I'm gonna have every nationality. If you from the, and, and it got to the point where you just had to be from the Bay Area. It started going countrywide. But it started off as a Bay Area organization, huh? 
So this is like my favorite tricep exercise. So you can focus on the tr tricep at hand. That's so wild, bro. Wow, crazy. Is it the, I saw some white guy on TikTok talk about, he's like one of the only white guys that was in uh, the Crip. black gangster disciples. Oh yeah, uh-huh. And I saw like, the mugshot of the guy that started it. I was like, oh, God. Like, I, it, like, flashed me into prison. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, bro. Do not put me in that <laughs> That Yeah, it's for losers. <laughs> yeah. Unless you had to do something to protect your family, you know. Yeah. Other than that, there ain't no... Just a loser if you go... It's family related, protecting your family is all good. Kudos. Right. But 98% of people in prison deserve to be there. I mean, how many people did you uh, see that were just protecting their family that were in prison? None. Exactly. And you were in there for 11 years. Uh-huh. You'd think you'd run across one. Not none. Damn. Everybody I met belonged in there. Well, only person I know is my little brother. He didn't belong in there. He didn't, but he did. <laughs> he didn't belong in there for what they say he did, but he did some other high-induced, drug-induced that he had to pay for. Same with me, I, I, and it's crazy with me, I prided myself because I never, I didn't drink or use drugs, none of my crime. And I, I was like, yeah, I didn't need to get high to do what I did. Like that was a badge of honor or something. Right. For the workout, about to uh, head to the Apple store. I want to get the new iPhone so we can use this USB-C uh, 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 new situation they got. So uh, yeah, that was a good workout, good pump. I'm hungry as hell. So we're going to go and go. Might eat first, then go there. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go get a watermelon. $20 watermelon. I need it, boy. I'm over here shaking right now. Mm -hmm. Over here shaking like a snitch at a gangster party. I always say it today. I don't need. Damn, is it that yours was that hard? There's two different ones. Not that hard. Damn, is it ready? Oh, it's ready. Ooh. Cold too. Thank you for the day. Thank you for blessings. Watching over us, giving us sustenance for our body. 
that we're supposed to eat. Amen. Mmm. Oh, man. Mm mm mm. Wow, this don't need nothing on it. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. It was well worth 20 bucks. Mm mm mm. Hope you're there tomorrow. <laughs> I'm getting about five more. Mmm. This is my first one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I haven't busted over now. Mmm. Oh, no. Nothing in life tastes better than no, that. I don't know. He says, man, he's a mango man. I'm still feeling it out. Oh, you haven't juiced one yet? No. There's a, there's a lot to learn about a mango, dude. Like, how to cut it efficiently. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't do this. Slimy, bro. Like, I, you know. You gotta like, have it already prepared. Yeah, you gotta prepare it or bring a cutting board and some <laughs> paper towels, man. Mm -hmm. Man. This just rejuvenated my life. First bite. Like, rejuvenated me. Mmm. And then better. That Asian man, I love me some Asians now. China, Asia, Beijing, Japan. Uh, 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 where did they go for the war? Vietnam, <laughs> Bangkok. I love you. <laughs> I love you, bro. Make sure y'all save a spot for me. I'm not in, well, I can't come out of China. Y'all got too much. Y'all got too much. That democracy. Ain't no democracy. <laughs> Where did which color go? Thailand. Thailand. All that stuff still, when they want to clamp down. Oh, but. I'm in a little Asia out here. Orange County. All my neighbors ate them. So I'm right where I need to be. Mmm. Hyphy greens, guys. We're not getting in those greens. We're not getting in our cabbage. We're not getting in our kale or spinach. We got to get in our greens. Those are the healer for the body. You're on the go. You got things to handle. Kids to take care of. Family to take care of, right? Work. Here you go, right here. Grind it up greens for you guys. I knew I needed to come out with this, so I did. So go to hyphylife.com. Get yours today. Look how that fridge look now. See that? I'm, I'm a good example. Get that cottage cheese up out of there. It'd be all good. You know what I mean? Get a few eggs. little things up in there. That's my wife. She type O. <laughs> she, can, she can eat anything she wants. <laughs> yeah, man. She type O, man. Yeah, you know I man. Yeah. Yes. But this ain't even my fridge. <laughs> it's his own fridge. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, this ain't my fridge. <laughs> yeah. But it still got good, way better than what it used to be. Right. Oh, there go pineapple up in there. So, dude said he didn't even know this was this color. Yeah. Cross pollinating and all. Uh, Yellow belly. Did you taste that? Yeah, I did. Let me try this one. Not as good as that Asian guy's. Damn, no. Not, not near. Not. It's cool. It's really cold. Mm. Asian guy got me messed up, bro. Me mm too. -hmm. Yeah, this youngster, he, you know. It's so good. Oh, you know he had nerds tell me yesterday? Uh-huh. He was trying to sell me one. He mm -hmm. in uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Oh, I got all these fruits. I can ship you some. I say, bro, I can't even eat tropical fruits. Mango, none of that you talking about. Mm. Oh, no. You don't go off that blood type stuff. You can change your DNA. <laughs> he say, my old <laughs> can change. My DNA by eating what I want to eat. What? So I'm going to bypass all the gut problems. 
Oh, like if I want to drink milk. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And I'm not proposed to. Yeah. No. Why? Force it. Why? And then they'll change your DNA. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's that? What's that? It sounds silly, bro. Sound like a used car salesman. <laughs> Sound like what was the day I took towel towel Lopez? <laughs> oh, Ty Lopez, towel Lopez. <laughs> hey, Ty Lopez. So, <laughs> oh, this is trip, dog. I ain't trying to sell nobody nothing. I'm just living through my life. I ain't trying to sell you nothing. I'm, I'm going to push this entertainment and this funny content, knowledgeable content, and that's how I'm going to feed my family. I ain't trying to sell Are nobody. Are you sure you don't want to change your DNA? <laughs> I told her yesterday. No, she heard him tell her. When he said that, I was like... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Old <laughs> mother 50 years old going to change his DNA. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. That old... So yeah, my headliner had messed up, so I'm getting it all tinted up. What kind of tint is this? Ceramic. Ceramic? Yeah. Ceramic flow? No, ceramic. Oh, just ceramic? Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be dark, bro. Oh, yeah. 5%? Hell yeah. What you think? It's black like yours? Yeah, it's like the Tesla. Uh-huh. No, yeah, you'll be good. Uh-huh. I'm just come back and do it again. Exactly. What, another 250? Uh-huh. <laughs> Click here to watch another awesome video from Cali Muscle. And if you support the channel, hit the subscribe button.